everyone! Welcome back to Cooking with Maria. Today, we're actually not doing any cooking, but instead we're making espressos. My husband is going to be showing us how he makes his lattes every morning, and we'll be using 3.25% whole milk. But these lattes can be made with all sorts of milk, whether it be 2% milk, soy milk, other dairy-free milks such as almond milk or oat milk, it really could work with any of those. I just find that frothing 3.25% milk gives you the best creamiest result for latte art specifically. But I personally like to drink my lattes with oat milk, so you can try that as well. We'll be using the Rancilio Silvia espresso machine for these lattes, but we're currently looking to upgrade to a different espresso machine, and once we have that one, we'll make another espresso-based video. Let's get started. To begin, let's weigh the espresso and warm the coffee mug by flushing the group head with some clean water into the mug. While the mug is warming, we'll grind and dose the espresso. We're going for about 17.5 grams of ground coffee beans, but we're a little short and that's okay. Next, we use some paper clips to get rid of the bigger clumps of espresso to make it a more even shot. Now, we dose it into the portafilter and tap it to even it out. At this point, you may choose to further declump the coffee by using paper clips. Then, we tamp the puck. Use a distribution tool and apply even and level pressure. We want to wipe down the tray, remove the water from the cup, lock the portafilter, tear out the scale, and pull the shot. We'll heat the boiler up to steaming temperature flush the group head, and clean the portafilter. We'll add some milk just under the line of the spout. Purge out the condensed water from the steam wand. Wipe the steam wand. Let's froth the milk. Add air to the milk until it's about body temperature. Angle the pitcher so that the milk swirls around like a whirlpool. When the pitcher is too hot to touch, the milk is done. It's important to wipe and purge the steam wand for sanitation. It should look something like wet paint or melted ice cream. Let's make some art. Keeping the pitcher high, pour your base. Bring the pitcher close to the cup and pour a steady stream. Then lift up the pitcher and draw through for the heart. Alright, time to try this delicious latte. Amazing and so much better than any of the coffee shops that I've ever tried. The coffee that we're using today is called Dancing Goats by DeMello. If you live in the Toronto area, I highly recommend this bean. It's quite delicious. I hope you enjoyed today's quick video. Let me know down below if you enjoy these kinds of quicker videos. And I wanted to make it interesting so it's not always all about cooking. We have a cocktail video. Uh, you can check it out in the description box below. And now we have this latte video. Please support me by subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell to get notified every time that I release a new video. Also, like this video and comment down below what your favorite types of cooking videos are. Also, follow me on Instagram at GrecoRecipes. Bye, have a great day.